Hi, my name is Przomek. I'm the designer and developer of MetaGrid Pro. And today I'm very happy to share with you my Keyboard Maestro Grid. I'm a big fan of Keyboard Maestro. I use it to automate my daily routines and most frequently used functions uh, on my Mac. And what's great about MetaGrid Pro is that it's deeply integrated with Keyboard Maestro. All the macros that you created in Keyboard Maestro are available directly in MetaGrid Pro through a dedicated Keyboard Maestro action. So let's go to the 6x6 grid that is available in the free version of MetaGrid Pro. Let's tap Edit and select the button that you want to um, assign the macro. So let's change the layout to icon only uh, for easy recognition. And now I will tap Mac Macro. I will tap the plus uh, icon and scroll down and select Keyboard Maestro. And I tap the action block. And here I am. All the Keyboard Maestro macros are there with categories and the macros. So let, let me select my Keyboard Maestro grid category. And here I am. All the macros that I've created for my custom Keyboard Maestro grid other. These functions are not accessible through standard keyboard shortcuts, so I created um, dedicated actions to call the actions through menus. So for example, I want to add um, try action macro to the button. So I just tap it and here it is. Um, so I press done and I exit the edit mode. And this button should now trigger test action functionality within Keyboard Maestro. So with the action selected in my macro, I just tap it and here I am. This action displays the text across my screen. So basically, if I create a new macro, for example, in Keyboard Maestro, let me add a macro and call it my new macro. Here I am. Uh, I, again, I just go to um, macro in MetaGrid Pro, and I go to the keyboard master action and I tap re refresh. And here I am, my new macro is there ready for the assignment. So basically, that's uh, the seamless integration between MetaGrid Pro and Keyboard Maestro. Now let's go to my Keyboard Maestro grid. So how to get started? First, you need to create a profile for Keyboard Maestro. So to do it, just tap the, uh, go to the Content Manager and uh, with Keyboard Maestro in focus on your computer, uh, tap plus icon next to your profiles and tap Keyboard Maestro. And here we are. Now in the grid section, tap the Import Export button and select Import from Presets. So it's loading data, and uh, now I will select Keyboard Maestro Grid. Here I am. So um, it's called uh, Keyboard Maestro Grid, and it's there. I'll add it to a scene. So I'll select Keyboard Maestro as the primary grid assigned to the main scene. I tap done and I press the scene and here I am. Here is the grid. So when I tap done, the grid is ready to be used. Now when I switch between uh, applications, uh, as you can see, uh, MetaGrid Pro now uh, displays the Keyboard Maestro profile with a grid, uh, my custom Keyboard Maestro grid aside. So when you look at uh, the functionalities that I have added to um, Keyboard Maestro, there are lots of useful functions like Insert Action. So I've got uh, my new macro here, and uh, if I want, for example, I'll quickly add uh, type a keystroke action, I just press uh, the button. If I want to insert the text, here I am. If I want to add a pause, uh, again, here I am. 
So it's very fast. And what's great about Metagrid that it is all the buttons are freely customizable. So you can easily change the assignments. And if you use different actions, uh, you can go and easily edit the macro because it is, what it basically does, it calls the insert action by name functionality with the keyboard shortcuts. Then it types the name of the action and then it hits return. And so we can easily modify uh, all the actions there, uh, give them distinctive icons, text, uh, and to make it uh, your own. Now, when I've got the set colors, these functions are not available through keyboard shortcuts and keyboard maestro, so I created dedicated macros. So when I um, select an action and uh, when I press the uh, color, the action takes the selected color, which is a nice way to visualize uh, the flow in your macro. Then I've got the uh, action uh, functions like uh, enabling and disabling, adding to favorites, and uh, quite useful. I can also collapse and uh, expand the action. Uh, I can hide and show uh, the action list. I can uh, also a very useful button to trigger uh, the whole macro. So let me again go to the test macro and press uh, perform the macro. Find macros and um, I can select macros uh, by name. I can uh, I can select macros by name. I can go to the last used, to the last edited, uh, previously edited, and um, so on. I can also display keyboard maestro windows like, uh, for example, mouse display over the value inspector. Uh, I can choose a micro library. You, so you've got easy access uh, from the grid. And you've got, uh, for example, if I have created the um, text action, I can easily insert variables, just typing the name or tokens or functions. That gives me a fast access to those functionalities. I hope that this grid will help you working with Keyboard Maestro uh, to create great automations that will save your time and make working with your Mac more enjoyable and uh, fun. So thanks for watching. Um, enjoy Metagrid Pro. Mm -hmm.